Hey guys, it is Lisa. I am driving right now to go to the dentist. I have to do the second part of my root canal, which sucks, especially because it's Saturday. So this Saturday is going to be, I'm going to title it Sibling Saturday as well, but it is the topic of are we going to have another child? And if so, how far do we plan on spreading them apart? Well, this has kind of been a debate between me and my husband. My husband believes we should be done just because we did have a boy and a girl and they're so close that he feels that if we had a third, either it's going to be, you know, if, if the, say the third one was a boy, it would be the boys ganging up against Josie or if it was a girl, it would be the girls ganging up against Josie and, or against Elam and we would need a bigger vehicle and we would need a bigger house because he does not want our kids to share rooms. And I told him, you know, we do plan on building our own house. So I told him, you know, that's us having like rooms is not an issue to me because they, I don't feel that they need their own rooms for, you know, quite some time, probably five, six, seven years old. So, I mean, we would probably have our house built by then. So that is kind of just a topic that he just throws out there just to kind of have something to argue about, but it doesn't, it's not, it's not arguable at this point. Another thing that my husband is against is, again, well, the boys versus girls, and he thinks that because Elam and Jojo are so close in age, he's afraid that they would be really close, and then the one that's younger would kind of be the fifth wheel, or, you know, like, left out. The thing that I argue with that is Elam and Jojo do not get along, <laughs> and I have talked to other moms that have boys and girls that are around the same age, and the boys are just a lot rougher than the girls, and the girls don't like being roughed around, so there's always a conflict there, and that's going to grow with them, but I mean, of course, they're going to love each other and get along and play, but, you know, he wants to play superheroes. Even now, he wants to, like, wrestle like he does with his older cousins, and she doesn't. She's like, I want to sit down here and play with my blocks, and all you want to do is kick them over, <laughs> so I know that that's going to be something that they grow out of, but I think that it's always going to be like that. So again, they're going to be close just because of the closeness of age. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to like shun the third child. So these have kind of been the arguments that we have. Another big argument is the fact that Josie is still not sleeping through the night. So mommy still gets really frustrated some nights. And another argument that we're having for having a third child is Robert's not going to be home. He... Uh, is going to be here soon. He is finishing up his last week of training. And once that week of training is up... So basically what happened is my husband was in a class for the railroad. A training class of, with 15 other guys. And they had to do 15 weeks of training. And then they have to take this huge massive final that they have to pass with 90%. Or they're basically kicked out of their job. So Robert did his final last week and they have some additional training that um, basically four people were able to sign up for and get additional like training so basically they're moving this train on a remote control so it's remote control operations and only four guys were able to do it so my husband he's he is pretty high seniority they pulled seniority and he's in the top five so he got to do this additional training which is good because that, you know, gives them more experience under their belt. Anyways, the rest of the guys that didn't get to do this training, they are already sent on the road. And where we live right now, it is so busy because all the oil coming out of North Dakota and all the coal and everything like that, that these guys that he's talking to, he hasn't experienced this yet because, like I said, he's doing the additional training. But these guys are literally turning and burning. So they drop their train off whatever city they're going to go to, they have 10 hours off before their butt is back in a seat on a train. And that's how it's going to be when he gets home. And that 10 hours includes his drive time home. Luckily, he only, we only live like 15 minutes from the yard, but some of these guys live like an hour, two hours away from the yard. So they're driving two hours home, sleeping for six hours, driving two hours back. So we're just kind of preparing ourselves that this is going to be how it is once he finishes his additional training. 
So he's afraid that he's going to miss out on a lot of the kids' lives. <laughs> if we do have a third. Because he's been home for most of JoJo and Elam's life. Well, my argument for that is the fact that he does not do well with babies. He does not do well. I'm not saying he's a bad dad. Um, babies just stress him out. He doesn't like the fact that they're crying and he doesn't know like how to fix it. And that's a lot of guys. And especially because JoJo was colicky, he'd get really overwhelmed and be like, you know, I, I can't make her stop here. She needs the boob. That was like all of his things. He always, she needs to eat. She needs you. Um, and I understand my cousins were like that. My, my stepfather was like that with my brother. Some guys just don't handle the baby stage well. And I told him, I was like, that's fine. I understand you do not handle the baby stage well. Trust me, Jojo tested my liking of the baby stage just because of the whole colic issue, which is great because she's fine now and that's been gone for like six months, seven, eight months. Yeah, it lasted about six months. So, when it comes to the nitty gritty, we are still debating on number three. I've told him that I do want a third. I do want to have that third and final child. I love being a mom. I love having kids. I think three is a good age because I liked living in a bigger family. Like with my cousins and stuff. My mom has two sisters. So... Yeah, so I like having a big family. Plus, my biggest fear, and I know it's a stupid fear. I know it's a stupid, stupid fear. My fear is if one of my children were to get older and pass away, I would only have one left. You know what I mean? And I know that's not a reason to have a third, but I, I don't know. I, I try and justify it. Like, I want my kids to be around. I want to have a lot of people surround me when I'm old and gray, and, and I'm a grandma. I want lots of grandkids. and So I think... I told my husband, I was like, I do. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, I want a third. So now the other question that people are asking, my husband has asked me, is how is weight loss surgery going to affect me having a third? Well, when you have weight loss surgery, my surgeon recommends a year before I have a child. That way your stomach is healed, you're getting used to your eating habits, you're lost pretty much most of your weight. And he, and I agree, you'll actually have a healthier pregnancy with the weight loss surgery because I was borderline preeclampsia. I was borderline gestational diabetes. And with each consecutive um, child, that borderline becomes a hell of a lot closer. So I don't want to have to deal with that stuff. And then I had the preterm labor issues and that's because I had so much extra weight on me. Anyways, yeah. Well, I just got to my dentist. So if you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. It is so bright today. It is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. So I am excited. We're going to go up to my cousin who is about an hour away. She is about to have a baby. And so we're painting the nursery because they are going to induce her at 37 a week. Because um, the baby is only measuring in like the 4 or 5 percentile. And she's been having contractions now for like a month like actual good contractions and they gave her the steroid shots already so all right talk to you guys later enjoy your saturday bye